The Path to Enlightenment, Part 1 Born in 563 BC, Sudartu Gachuma grew up near the Himalayan foothills called Lumbini, as the son of a warrior king. Upon his birth it was foreseen that he would have two paths presented to him. On the first path, he would become a great ruler, and on the second path he would become a renowned holy man. His father, having seen the hardships and cruelty of the world, made sure to shield his newborn son from the world. Most of his childhood was spent in their palace filled with luxuries and pleasures that were provided by their servants. It was not until he embarked on four chariot rides that he was exposed to the true nature of the outside world. On his first encounter, he saw an old man, to which his guide explained that all beings change and become old over time, nothing stays the same. On his second encounter, he sees a sick man, to which his guide explains that sickness comes for all despite your age or status. On his third encounter, he saw the corpse of the sickly man from the previous day, in this moment he came to the realization that this too will be his fate and that the only constant in life has changed. On his fourth encounter, he sees a spiritual practitioner who was living a life voided of material pleasures, in order to gain spiritual enlightenment. He realized that all worldly pleasures are temporary and that a meaningful life lied on the path to enlightenment. The life of the spiritual seeker intrigued and inspired him to embark on his own journey to enlightenment, but in order to begin his journey he would have to renounce all of his worldly possession and attachments, which unfortunately included his family.